So, uh, super cool story. Talk a little bit about uh, just the transition into college baseball and coaching college baseball, right? I mean, you have these kids that are now looking at you for for guidance. Uh, you really yeah. had, you know, little experience. I mean, zero experience at that level and, and very little experience yeah. elsewhere. Uh, talk about how you kind of got the kids to trust you and, and build those relationships. Yeah, it was a couple unorthodox ways, you know, um, it really started, uh, there's three ways I like to break this part down because I think a lot of people ask me this. One thing, it, I had to believe that I belonged. That was the first thing. Because if I can't speak with conviction, it doesn't matter what I say. And another thing I realized, too, at the college level is they all make the, make the same mistakes. At every level, all baseball players make the same mistakes. They're just bigger, faster, and stronger the better you go. Let's just be honest, right? There's still bad base running still sometimes there's not hitting your cutoffs there's you know so many little things not holding runners that happens at every level except the higher you go up they're just bigger faster and stronger right so that was the thing I had to realize was like okay I still understand the game I can still coach these guys up teach them how to create the right angles in the outfield and you know whatever the case may be so one it took belief Two, it took all my head coach doing a great job of saying, you know what, Danny's here for a reason. He might be in a wheelchair, but you guys, if you knew Coach Vittorio, the ones that know Coach Vittorio, he doesn't like to mess around. That dude's all about business. He's about winning. He's about culture. He wouldn't just bring someone around to just be a rah-rah guy. He wants to win. He wants to, you know, he takes pride in his programs and those types of things, um, especially in the uh, moment of where the program was at. I mean, Wilmington College Baseball was historically awful for years. I mean, they had like seven wins before we came and took the program over like every year, consistently like a seven-win program. It was awful. And in one of the best Division Three conferences. So in that, when he, was, he took that program over to help turn it around, so he would not bring someone in that wouldn't help him do that. So... The players quickly realize, okay, like, because they bought into Coach V. They're like, okay, if Coach V is really serious about bringing this program to a better place, then I know that people he surrounds himself with are as well. So it started with that. And the third thing, honestly, it was a, this is a third two-parter here, is I had one person believe in me, one of the players, um, and I started working with Went Hitting, and he started having a little success. And then when other people started to doubt me, what I did is we did live ABs, and then I would call pitches, and I would dice them up. So if they, I, I'm just being honest. So if someone said, hey, like, what do you know? Like, how do you know, like, my swing doesn't work like this? And they would just kind of, I'd get irritated sometimes when I'd be like, hey, just make this little minor cue change or make this little tweak, and they would kind of just shrug it off. So I'd be like, all right, next next Tuesday, we're having live ABs. This kid's throwing to this, you know, this. we're doing this and this, and I'm calling pitches. And I said, all right, you got a loophole on middle in, low and in. And we're going to go change up here, change up there, strike the kid out in three pitches in front of the team. And they're like, oh, okay, like maybe Coach Dan knows a couple things about these adjustments that, that we should do. I'm not saying that was the right way to do it. Um, but I think then was a big turning point that, and I didn't do it to embarrass the people. I didn't do it for that. But it was a good way for them to realize, like, okay, I see the same things you see. I ultimately just want to help you get better. 